In a world where gods walk the night sky and their champions battle evil, an unlikely group of individuals find themselves in a fight to save it. Coming from the far corners of the unforgiving land of Theros, they find themselves divinely linked. They have been sent on a journey to save Theros from impending destruction. Ezrin Azul Nightshade, a Triton Nyxborn artificer, with her trusty constructs, Mr. Clickety Clack and Dr. Calamario. Tari, a Leonin barbarian from the northern Oreskos Valley. She has turned her back on the gods and champions no one but her people. Lucky Lala, a druid satyr of the School of Ale, wanders the vastness of Theros with awe and amazement. Rexenor of Miletus, a powerful wizard, he's a devout follower of the gods and is forever driven to seek their divine favor and knowledge. Theodore, a minotaur bard from Stophos, has chosen to seek the gods' knowledge and alienate themselves from their own warlike people. Together, these champions are the Asteronauts. Uh, there we go. There's an audio sorry. check. Check, check. Sorry, I or... clicked on my thing and then finished it all. There we go. Oh, oh, you get nine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm first. Wow. This is I'm, not... I'm at the bottom. This does not bode well for you all. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> bad, <laughs> bad y'all. Yeah. The villains have rolled well. <laughs> and you guys, I, you know, I guess I mean, roll yeah, poorly. We, uh, uh, Len and I rolled respectively. Yeah, you just did it in the wrong not, order. You not just... respectively enough. Yeah, you guys need a trade. Hey, Air Force Demon. First time chatter on Twitch. Welcome. Hello. Whoop, whoop. Uh, okay. So, um. Wow. Sorry. I'm, I'm surprised. I've, uh, I've been like at, at the top at like the, for the last month. Yeah, and, and hey, you get advantage on it too. I think. Oh, I could roll again. Oh yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could. Ooh, same spot. <laughs> but it seems. But it's a higher you know, number. I was gonna say it's a little more respectable. Yeah, it's double digits at least. <laughs> I mean, I rolled a nat one for initiative last week, so. Mm. Amy, I just sent you a message in chat. Amy, did you see I messaged you in chat? But, all right. Uh, Ezrin, all righty. So, let's... Are we ready to get started? Ready. And Ezrin leaves. <laughs> oh, <I sh> gosh. <laughs> um, it's fine. So, welcome back to Theros Champion the Gods, where you all play as Greek-ish... Uh, adventurers that champion one of the gods in the pantheon of gods. And a quarter of the time you play actually as those gods, sort of, but 75% of the time you're just playing your, your mortals. We do need to do a gods night, by the way. Uh, I'm thinking after after we do with, deal with Asgard. So it all depends on your timeline and how long you stretch this out for. How anyway. we die. Yeah. So <laughs> as you all continue on your journey to save one of the last remaining uh, cities, states in Theros, Satessa, you have found your way up to the Nykthos and um, Phoenix Stairs. But going to Nykthos, it took you, instead of a Greek area, it took you to Asgard, where you got to do a little favor. And last time you met four of their gods... Uh, and they were all in pretty rough shape and pretty apathetic about their situation for that matter. Uh, but said, if you vanquish or yeah, vanquish their watcher, their keeper, who takes good care of them. But if you do it, uh, they'll see what they can do about doing you a favor. And so Ratatask has been named as this villain and you are going into his lair underneath 
the main temple complex within Asgard, where you all killed some rats, and we are here. Did I miss anything? I think that about covered it. <laughs> that about covered it. And anything that might look like a Minotaur is clearly not a Minotaur. Any resemblances to actual Minotaurs are purely coincidence. Exactly. <laughs> Um, like I said, uh, Tom said that Nick could play Theo if if, if needed. I am I am prepared if necessary. Oh, with yeah. <laughs> yes, that actually, yeah. Let me give you his character sheet real quick or access to it. And I think I've collected them all at this point. <laughs> I think you have. Uh, I have I missed? Okay. I don't think I've missed. Uh, I did play you once. Oh, That's nice. Okay. Okay. I think I played Ezra a couple weeks ago and Lucky mm -hmm. a while back. Well, there you go. And Full house. He's, he's got a hole. I'll give you wow. control abilities through for Lapless as well. Ooh. Lapless? How do you say that? Anyone know how to say that? Lapless? Darky? Lapless? That's, that's, what, that's why I was 100% down for Barky. <laughs> You know, we're going to have to blame Apostle for that one. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I thought I clicked initiative, but. But you didn't. But apparently I did not. <laughs> Try it again. There we go. Oh, nine. nine. We're going to get somebody in that nine spot. That's right. <laughs> okay. So one thing about this maze is for every time you move and stop, you're going to have to roll a d20. <laughs> All right. It's promising. <laughs> Sounds Traps, promising. Traps. <laughs> uh, and just be careful where you go in case you can't see around the corner because we wouldn't want you to go through any walls. That would be most unfortunate. Okay. And as you step into this dark, dank hallway, the ceiling lowers to the point of about 10 feet. The hallway no itself is a dark, echoey, hallway slash chamber there's a breeze going through it doesn't necessarily okay. smell fresh and is about five feet wide it seems to be cut in very elegant stonework but it has since fallen into decay much like every other part of this godforsaken city and top of the order literally, literally it's godforsaken lucky lala l7 okay okay since <laughs> L to the seventh power. Yo, sorry. <laughs> the humanities people don't understand your crazy okay. math. <laughs> okay, so carrot. Can you L walk to the carrot power. People? Can you what? Since it's so narrow, can we walk like past people? Yes. Uh, um, friends, not foes. Okay, so we can. I can walk Fair through the you know, there. Yep. I'm gonna go up here, <laughs> and I'm going to go left about until I. Corner. Wait, are we counting? 35, right there. Okay. That's as far as I can go. All right, I'm going to need you to roll a d20. Okay, let's do it. Four. Okay, um, no, nothing happens. Coming yes. in hot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that nothing happens. All right, is that your turn? Since I can only move 35 feet, I guess. Yeah, that's it. All right, Rexanor. Oh, oh no, wait. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Now, see, I was contemplating the finer points <laughs> of casting fly on myself so I could float. But that's not much sporting and takes up a whole spell slot. Uh, so, five, ten. I, you know, I don't want to split the party. 15, 20, 25, I can't see 30. I can see like a corner of you. Yeah, I can. Now I can see a corner of you too. Okay. And Rexanor rolls a d20. Scary, scary. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Um, let's see. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, well, that's uh, woo. <laughs> 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 could I do? Could uh? Could or excuse me? Could Rexanor do a perception check? Yeah, sure. We'll go active. Keep it sporting. 
14. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, going hot tonight. Yeah, I mean, besides, you know, what I've already described, um, you really now are getting the sense that it's dark here. Yeah. <laughs> and a bit and a bit chilly. And a bit chilly. It feels a bit like Hallow's Eve. Oh, yes. Spooptober. All right. Ezra and Azul Nightshade, you're up. Yes, I will also follow the party. Do I have to stay behind them or can I go ahead? You can go through people. You can, can go through people, but remember, it is seven or ten feet tall ceiling. Ten foot, you said? Yes. Okay. I mean, if you fall off the broom, at least you won't take much damage. What if she falls up? She yeah, and and therein <laughs> lies the rub, or rather the bump. Yes, I'm going low. Perhaps you, I don't you, need my. You broom. just went through a wall, Amy. Well, I okay, fine. <laughs> I moved to those guys along the path. No, you didn't. I did, just because you can't. Oh, like I need to click on one square at a time. Um. Yeah, because otherwise you. Can go through walls, or at oh. least like put 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 use the arrow to show me where you're going because there's no way you have that much speed. I've got fifty foot on my broom. Okay. Aren't these five foot squares? Yeah. Okay, so show me which direction you went. I went. Oh. Show others. I went this way, and then this way. Yeah, that's way. not. Uh, hold on, let me make sure. That's, maybe I missed the corner because that's not. That's supposed a wall. To be. That's a wall. Yeah, that's you a wall. You can't take that that right turn there where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, that's a wall. It if is. If you put your token down, you can tell where walls are. Yeah. If you place your tokens down. Oh. Okay. Sorry. The way the labels are written yeah. up. Sorry, that's why I was very confused. Okay, yeah. so that doesn't go through that direction. Gotcha. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to see with the labels. Yes. Which label? Well, like all the character labels are covering up walls on my screen. <laughs> oh. So I guess I can click because you said if I just click one square at a time, it won't let me go through a wall. Well, it still would. You're, we're, okay, do you want to just gonna go left of Lucky and I'll just put your yes. token in there? Okay. No? Oh. Okay. I'm going to go up farther. And he can only get one more up clickety clack i think clickety clack can only get here okay uh all right so for ezra i need you to roll a d20 okay you zoom in i'm gonna step on a bad guy <laughs> uh nothing happens i need you to roll a d20 for calamario <laughs> oh gosh, so many D20 checks. Oh no, this isn't good. Um, all right. And now I need you to roll a D6. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Calamari. Though. On the bright side, it looks like if we roll poorly, that actually helps us. So yes. We are right in the sweet spot. <laughs> all right. Um... Hold on, I'm just looking at something real quick. A shower of candy comes down and lands <laughs> in our pockets. <laughs> okay. Who's this, Calamario? Yeah. As Calam Calamario uses eight l mechanical legs and s kind of stops right behind you, from the ground and the walls, vines come out and grip him and bind him and he is grappled I and know. he can do a check at the end of his next turn okay all right clickety clack roll a d20 hello clickety clack <laughs> uh that hit that hits all right roll a d6 <laughs> four all right and as 
he starts fluttering. A little bead falls from a tiny hole in the ceiling and drops down and splashes right on the ground, sending a puff of smoke, and he falls asleep. <gasps> Does that work on... on the mechanics? On Dis the, dispels, yeah. dispels work on, on him? On a yeah, concept? On a mechano man? Um... Just to make sure. If it does, that's fine. Let me see. I think unless it specifically says like it won't work on a construct, I think it would be fine. I think so, yeah. Okay, so he's sleepy, sleepy. Uh, yeah. What Cute. Sleepy. A magical slumber. Look, I'm using the icons. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. There you go. All right. Is that your turn? Mm hmm Um, actually, could I roll an investigation of my surroundings and yeah. as much as I can see ahead? Yeah. No, it's not to my gonna trigger a trap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're gonna trigger a lot. <laughs> Maybe I should do like search for traps. I don't have that spell though. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh what are you looking for exactly? Um, any clues as to what direction might be good, or if there like looks like there might be traps ahead, although that's not really a, I don't know if that would work. With a 17, you don't really get a sense that you're going in either right or in, or the correct or incorrect uh, location, but, um, you do notice that along the ceiling, there are in holes, almost like a bead of holes going in the exact top center of the hallway going every which direction that you can think of. Ow. Oh, this looks Ow. very trapped. Do you see these holes up ahead? Okay. Yes, my blowgun. Plug them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Sleepy sleep. All right, Tari. Sorry, Rex, not yet. Right. Did I skip um, you? Did I skip you? Rex? No, no, you didn't. Okay. So my turn? Yeah. Um I have what like five points off of my I want to heal, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh lesser healing. Okay. Um, that's what two, uh, two D four plus two. Correct. I don't know why I, I can't. I looked it up. My settings are all messed up. Like I can only see some so of your seven. names. Oh, awesome. I, yeah. I, I'm fully healed. Okay. Oh, yay. Exactly as much as you needed. Exactly. Now, um, I want to go as far as I can. Uh, I'm 45 feet. And I don't know if I am going to hit any um, walls. Uh, you can go essentially right where Calamario is. Um, so it's 45? Yeah, 45. I'll just bump you a little further up. Okay. Do you want me to put you over there? Excellent, yes. Okay. There you go. Uh, sweet, I can't see anything. Um, like nothing, nothing? Like... Do you get... Night vision or anything? Yes, I have night vision. Why? Okay, hold on. I mean, I think it looks like we're just in tight corner, too. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you can kind of see to the left, to the north, to the right. It's very, very tiny. Yeah. Um. Can I do, like, an investigation, see what's going on? Yeah. So Seven. I'm going to uh, roll like shit just letting you know hey well that <laughs> might be good we'll go ahead and roll another d20 oh my favorite seven go. consistency uh, <laughs> seven, seven, seven. so uh nothing happens lucky you <sighs> and there you go that's that i think that's i did a bonus yeah. I didn't really do an act 
an action, but whatever. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. Yep, I'm doing my thing. All right. Last but not least, Theodore. Theodore. He's going to move 5, 10, 15. He's going to move back here behind Rexenor and okay. call that basically good. And uh, I do believe he gets perception and investigation advantage while in mazes. Yeah, I Something will. Like By the way, chat, I'm loving your uh, your less <laughs> What perception rhyme is off? marginally better. Your your rhyme off. I don't think that's quite right, but whatever, I'll go with it. I like it. Not much. <laughs> wow. Not what? Much. Double wow. nat ones. Double nat <laughs> ones. <laughs> Wow. He takes both of his horns and stabs him into his <laughs> eyes like Oedipus. <laughs> roll 20. You're broken. Oh, You're man. broken, roll 20. Wow. Okay. Um. You know, you... I don't even know what you... What are you doing? You're just stabbing your eyes with your horns. Okay, that's what we have. <laughs> He just, he just, Mogus temporarily takes over his body. I, I almost feel like giving you disadvantage on your roll, on your, uh, on your 20, your d20. I, mean, I feel like that would be fair. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Get a, I'm going to roll two d20s. <sighs> womp, 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 womp. Well, Four. okay. <laughs> Could be worse. Uh, what's your, okay. Your armor class is 21, so nothing happens. So far, so bad. Man, you guys <laughs> roll for Shiza. Jesus Christ. Oh All right, God. Lucky, you're next up on this maze yeah. of horrors. Here you creep along. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going left. Okay. 35. And then roll d20. Yeah. Do you want to tell your friends or anything of anything you see? I don't know what I see, though. <laughs> what do I see? Oh. Do I have to roll perception? Um, I mean, you can see what you can see, but you can roll perception. I'll interpret. You okay. I'm at a, I just went straight up from Ezrin, and you can go left or right. That's all I can kind of see. I think there's a little room on the left. Kind of see a little room on the left, like a four square room. <laughs> That's kind of what I see. All right. Go ahead and uh, roll that d20. Uh. Okay. Uh -oh. So go ahead and roll a d6. Oh, no. Something's going to happen. Pain. I'm going to fall asleep, <laughs> guys. Good night. <laughs> okay. Um, you're looking in this room and you're trying to make things out and mm -hmm. it starts getting really fuzzy and you kind of rub your eyes and you're looking and you're, you know, it's dark, but it's still very fuzzy. You rub your eyes again. And when you take your hands away, you can't see anything. You are <gasps> blinded. Oh no. I'm blind. <laughs> you can make a save at the end of your next turn. Are you revved up like a deuce? <laughs> I don't get the reference. Blinded by the light, revved up like a deuce, etc. Et <laughs> okay. One of the most misunderstood lyrics in music history. Who sings it? Uh, some classic oh. rock band. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Uh, Lucky, anything else you want to tell your friends? Um, I'm blind. I can't see you, fuckers. <laughs> I can't see anything. All right, Rex and are you? Rexenor, you're hearing. Maybe it was Rexenor's horns poked my eyes or something. Yeah, Re Re Rexenor, <laughs> you get. He's blind too. Y you have a Minotaur behind you who's stabbing his eyes out, a flying crab that just fell asleep, a octopus that is bound, and you hear Lucky scream in front of you. What are you doing? It's Tuesday in Rexenor's <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> just it's another day at the office. Uh, hmm. I'm going to keep moving forward, I guess. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
can sort of see Lucky, but I don't know that I feel like Misty stepping at the moment. Um, hang in there, Theodore. Perhaps we can, or uh, hang in there, Lucky. Uh, perhaps um, uh, I can figure something out. I'm going to roll a deception check. <laughs> 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 that sounded exactly as shaky as it sounded. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do great. I still feel the walls, so I and it's only like I should be able to kind of feel the walls <laughs> walk around. I'm hoping. Hey, <laughs> I'm coming in. Just wow, I get 500 it... gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, sorry, hold on, real quick. I can't keep up with chat. You guys are like typing too fast. I'm, that, I'm like trying to pay attention. One, anyway, he's got that one, so that's great. <laughs> it All right. Is. So let's see what's gonna happen. You got a nat, uh, nat one. Um, absolutely nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Best possible outcome. Best possible outcome. Oh, I got an idea, guys, but I'll do it in my next turn. I have and an idea. Pass it on to Ezra. Yeah, Ezra, you're next. Yes, so do I have a sense? Is there something I could do with my, say, like my tinker's tools or my thieves' tools to any traps that I see or those holes kind of cover them up to try to help clear our path a bit? With that 17 investigation, if you want to roll, you can roll again, but you don't have to. Roll but you again. can. Yeah, I'm going to probably do bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the glamour worse. bars. Uh, yeah, seventeen. I test the theory here. I know, right? I like, okay, I feel better. Okay, <laughs> just to make sure it's not stuck. But uh, with a seventeen and a seventeen, what you notice is that you can probably dismantle one, but there are infinite amount of them. Do I have a sense of what is triggering them? Or is there a way I could try to figure that out? I get the sense that uh, anytime someone passes under it, it drops a little spell bead. And does it feel like a cone? Like no matter where you are at on the floor or how small you are, it will trigger it? Uh, based off of the clink and the snoring sounds you hear from clicky clack, you get the sense that size doesn't really matter. I keep telling myself that at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's how you use the trap. Exactly. Does it, as a trap is sprung, can I tell, does that whole change, does it look like it takes a while to reset or does it instantly reset? Uh, I would say it's fairly instant. I think it's pretty tamper-proof. Dang, I'm taking all my... I have many pebbles I can throw ahead, but no. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a smart dungeon. Stupid anti-pebble technology. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they thwarted it so quickly. <laughs> um, so clickety-clack being asleep. Can I use an action to try to wake him up? Yeah, you can. You can do at the end of your turn, end of its turn... Well, you can do Dispel Magic or something like that. You can try that if you I have it. I do not have that spell. Okay. I was thinking, like, can I throw a rock at him? <laughs> I mean, you can certainly try. Pebble. Who are you trying to uh, throw it at? I don't think I can actually throw it to him from where I'm at. I'm going no. to have to move because there's a wall. There is a wall. That's why I was, gonna, that's why I was asking. It's <laughs> like, you can try. But I think if I move over where Calamario is. Yeah. So that's. 10 feet. It's like, excuse me, I know you're kind of stuck, but <laughs> excuse me. Like, I'll, I'll handle you next, and then I, I'd like to throw something like one of my pebbles in my bag of holding, because I have many, many pebbles in my bag of holding. Okay. To throw it at him. Yeah, you, you, you throw it at him. Um, it doesn't really seem to do anything. I'll tell you what. I'll give him advantage on his save, because you're trying to help him wake up. Okay. And then <laughs> while I'm on top of Calamario, can I try to slice and dice the vines with my daggers? Yeah, go ahead and roll a um attack. 
Daggers. Ten. A ten. <laughs> you guys are rolling great tonight. <laughs> um, we are so fucked. I'll, I'll, I'll say that you give him advantage as well on his save. Okay. You did a really so, good job, though. I mean, you're not, you, you, you freed most of them. I think that is both my actions, but I still have some movement. You, so. Okay. Do you want to move? I did 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I'll move right in front of Lucky. I think 50 is my speed. That's not you. That? Nope. That was Calamario. Put him back. Put me there. Sorry. So many characters to track and move and things are going on with them. Okay. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. Dang it. Okay, go ahead and roll a d6. Because <laughs> I don't want to. Stop rolling well. Six. Uh, you just passed Lucky, who is like bumping into the wall, and you blink a couple times, and you can't see anymore. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're right, Lucky. It's very bad over here. I can't see either. <laughs> All right. Uh... No, Doctor... I had like dispel magic. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Calamario. Okay, so he gets advantage. Yeah. And what kind of save is it? Uh, he's entangled. Uh, that would be a strength check. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I'll do a <laughs> strength. Oh, I get advantage. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, and he breaks free with a dirty twenty, smashing through those awesome. vines. He's feeling much better for next turn. That's right. Next. Okay, and now Kikiti Clack on the end of his turn. We'll do his. Is he um what what will he be? Is that like a wisdom or uh he's asleep, so that's gonna be um Constitution? Yeah, we'll make it a con. Uh, he just makes it. And yes. he wakes up. <laughs> Yay. All right. Tari, things are waking up and moving around you. What are you doing? Uh, I want to move as far as I can. Okay. Um, Be careful. The fog is blinding, apparently. Can you go 30 or 40? 45. Okay, do you want me to put you in the same direction that everyone else is moving? Sure. Yes, please. Okay, so you're going... Maybe I should have done gust of wind on it. That probably would have been good. <laughs> Tari, anything you want to say to your friends? Because uh, they can't see what you see. I can't see anything. Oh. Well, I don't know what I see. Do I need to do an investigation? I mean, you you can see what you see on the map. But you, uh, you can also do a perception or investigation to color I mean, what you I just, see. I just see, like, an empty room. Okay. Um, I see a room ahead. Uh, can I do a perception? Yeah. Normal. Let's see here. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, wrong one. Perception, 14. Yes. Uh, 14... It definitely seems to be uh, some kind of altar, um, per perhaps a sacrificial altar of some sort. Um, but you get the sense that there is there's there is definitely something about this room that seems important. Mm. All right. Um, yeah. Would it be better to do like a religion check? I'm really bad at religion because, you know, I don't really care about the gods, but. I mean. Would that be helpful or should I just let it go? Probably wouldn't be that helpful. All right. <laughs> let it go. We got uh, altar so, bullshit. So my, so my friends, um, apparently this room is important. I don't know why. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. I'm blind. 
<laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do in a moment. Yeah, Theodore has his horns on. He's stabbing them, stabbing them 10, in his eyes. 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, he's. <laughs> yeah, he's going to, through his bloody reddened eyes, try to. Nope, that's the wrong character sheet. Uh, try and perceive. Uh, an 18. Hey, marginally better. 18. You definitely get a sense that the group is going in the right direction. Well, I'll that say that. Good news. I to believe the we're going in the right direction, companions. To the left. To the left. To the and left. then uh, he is going to uh, reach out to Ezrin and say, as, as my people have once sang, <laughs> and uh, give you some didgeridoo inspiration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Rex and Moore. Right. It was a good song. Or, I mean, Theodore. She truly is blinded if she can't tell us apart. <laughs> I know, true. right? <laughs> I mean, their voices are so different. I mean, they really are. <laughs> I do like the hat differentiator. It does really help. Yeah. Hopefully I never make this episode into a podcast. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and roll a d20. Me? Uh, oh, no. no. Uh, Theodore. Theodore. Oh, Theodore. Middle of the road. Oh, they don't text too much. Oh. Um, all right. So a 10. <sighs> Nothing happens. Woohoo. All right. Uh, next up is Lucky Lala. You're blinded. So you know what I'm going to do? What? I hope this is okay. DMs. Discretion. I want to turn into a bat and have echo echolocation. Oh, yeah. Um, so I can basically, see in the dark. Can I do that? Does because they're blind. Hold on, let me look. Let me look up. Does it say that they have echolocation? Like that they is don't on need the a trait little app mm -hmm. I have here. I'm just looking enough real quick. I'm basically one hit point though. <laughs> the yeah. creature turn one hit. Lucky. It's tiny, tiny beast. Sure. Yeah. Um yeah. You got you got blind sight. So absolutely. Yay. Yeah you can turn into a bat. You're a bat. I'm a bat. You're a bat. <laughs> Rat. <laughs> um, reduced a little bit. I can only go thirty feet. Okay, you can still move. Did Tari say there's another room in that little room she's in? What's that? Is there more another room? Is there another passage from the room Tari is in, or is it just no? But one she said room? it was important. Well, I don't want to go there. <laughs> hey, all just a heads up. So the the text curved Earth and chat is my minion so um yeah uh he's a littler guy and curved earth chat curved earth uh there's never too much chat in chat that's why we call it chat so they can chat more chat the better chat chad's always right all right sorry you were saying i missed it you moved okay where did you move to i moved to the right oh to the right instead yeah okay i'm just a i'm just exploring okay oh. rexenor of Malia. oh no 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 do 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 uh you know what or does or is the bat i'm kind of floating i'm not really well touching. let's see um roll a d20 <laughs> roll it twice a two a twice it might it might add it up that's fine this is different. 11 and a 16. What's the AC of a bat? <laughs> Not good. Let me see. It's uh, 12. <laughs> okay, roll a d6. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to lose my shape shift already. And you're going to be blinded. <laughs> All right. Um, Your bat falls asleep. He's a sleepy oh. bat. <laughs> He's a sleepy bat. <laughs> Oh man! 
But at least I could see where I was going for a second there. All right, I'll know. Do you want, so, do you want... so I just wrote in my notes something that will absolutely not make sense weeks from now. Lucky Bat gets put to sleep. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? What the fuck? Yeah, How lucky. drunk was I? <laughs> Uh, true. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Rexnor is going to move up here uh, and examine this altar with a religion check, I believe is appropriate. Ooh, hey, a decent roll. It'll be really big. Or, or an average roll with a good modifier. There you, there you go, Lucky, and you got a new avatar. I got a little bat. All right. So, yeah, um, Rexnor, you do a religion check after going into this room. Uh, you definitely see that there's this religion, religious esque um, altar. Cute. And, uh, but you don't get any like religious aura from it in particular. Interesting. Uh, could I throw in an Arcana check? Yep. Let's do that. <laughs> 30. Uh, yeah. You definitely... You look, as fuck. Yeah, you're, you're going around with your little, like, Geiger counter of an arcane wand there, and you notice that right in front of you, under the rug, that it is emanating magic. Interesting. You all, it's interest. It's emitting magic in here. And those were the last words he said before he rolled a d twenty. Uh, no, you don't roll a d twenty. Oh, well. Then never back. mind. Rec or Ezrin, uh, you are blinded. No, you're fine, right? No, I was blinded. You're blinded. Yeah, I was blinded, but inspired. That's yes. true. So, Can I use my inspiration to kind of feel my way into the room? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Do I do like half speed or something? Yeah, I'll give you half speed. So five, ten, ten. Imagine this is probably boring for the people who aren't playing because you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, I think I ended up on the altar you, because I am blind and you, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you are standing on the altar. That's, um, that's a bit disrespectful. As you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, where am I, Rex? I cannot see. Should I move? You're, you're like scared. right on the altar, but I, I, I don't know that I'd move much. Okay. Is, How you're standing is, on something very magical. Oh, should I get off? Probably. <laughs> uh, uh, come follow my voice. Oh. I think I stepped on something. Is that you, Rex? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you still flying around in your broom and you just like knocked into him? No, I, <laughs> Flag. I landed because I'm blind and didn't think flying blind was good. <laughs> no. Okay. Yes, I say, Rex, is there anything I can do? I, I cannot see anything. Is there enemies around that I need to attack? Not yet. Okay, I do not know how to clear this from my eyes. Is there any kind of check I can do for it? Uh, yeah, you can do a constitution saving throw. And I have inspiration should I need it. Yes, indeed. Correct. Constitution. I don't think Ezrin is great in constitution. Oh my gosh, my mouse. I think it's running out of batteries. Uh-oh, you're going to have to use the pad. I know. I hate using the pad. All right, you're going to have to use that. Yep, use that yeah. advantage. Is it a 1d6 or d8? I think it's a... What level bard is he? Uh, d8. It's a d8. Oh, it's, a d8. Okay. it's a lot, I remember. Yeah. Eight. Nice. <laughs> All right, yeah. And, and you push through and you are able to see. Oh. Thank goodness. And so Rex had told me this is very magical. Can I 
Is that that's probably my that's turn. your turn? Yeah, the check is on your turn. Yep. Okay, right, so now it. Calamario. Oh God. Would like to move up. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I think he's thirty. Let me look. Calamario. Calamari. Oh, he's forty. Oh, good. He will come in the room too. Okay, and soon I will be too. How, Maybe this is how far can you? Sorry, what was that? Maybe that room can turn off all these traps. That's a shot. Uh, what about clickety clack? Oh yeah, there's nothing Calamario has to do. Is he nope. blind? He's. I don't know. No. Okay, clickety clack moved up his speed. Okay, he needs to roll a d twenty. Oh, because he's as, still in the hallway. Because he's in the hallway. I would have grabbed him, but I couldn't see him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unfortunately for him, he's gonna have to roll a d6. No, no. Look at these glad. A three, and these vines come out and bind him yeah. as well. Oh, he has. Well, that was Doctor Calamario. Yeah. <laughs> but he's tiny. He should be able. I mean. The vines are very tight knit. They just. Yep, exactly. All right, Tari, you have been listening in on these conversations of this uh, magical rug or something. It really ties the room together. It really does. <laughs> it's only a little bit of blood on it. Um, I don't quite understand. I mean, do we need to attack it or what's going on? I mean, you can do a either you can do an investigation check. I mean, Tari just wants to hit it, but you know, we'll, she we'll can. She can attack it. I don't care. Investigation. Yeah, you're like, I really, really just want to hit it. Uh, I, I don't think that will help in <laughs> this situation. In most, it does, but in this one, well, we'll see. Well,. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> you can attack it. Uh, I don't know what your friends say about that. I mean, I mean, I I, I can tell you, Rexnor ain't got the stones to stop her. <laughs> <laughs> where even where is it? I can't really see. Uh, you can't see it. Oh yeah, you probably can't. It's right here. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Um, I guess I'll move up and. Like try to shred it with my battle axe. Okay, go ahead and do a attack roll. Rex is like, um, first I'm gonna rage. Of course. <laughs> and then I'm gonna attack it recklessly. Okay. Twenty one. Twenty one hits a rug. Mm hmm. And thirteen. So what you all see is Tar Tari kind of looks at it and then she just grabs her axe and starts whacking the freaking hell out of it until it's like, I mean, it, it's a rug, but you get this like pit in your stomach. Like it, you kind of feel bad for this rug and you don't even know why because she's just like so mad and beating it up. And then you, especially Rexonor with your passive perception, you hear this like Instead of like a clink on concrete or dirt, you hear a clink on wood. And she's going so far through this rug that splinters start flying up. Ooh. And before long, you notice that there is a trap door, used to be a trap door, now leading into stairs. Excellent work, Tari. Wow. Very good. Awesome. Uh, do I need to keep hitting it? Because I have another act, uh, another attack. Um, no. And as you do that, go ahead, the three of you, roll a perception check. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do advantage. Should uh, Calamario also do it? If you want. Uh, so perception? Mm-hmm. Calamario, I believe, has good perception. 
but he rolled for shit. Okay. <laughs> what you all see is you're looking down into the stairwell, this very tight stairwell. And Rexenor and Tari have to like get Ezrin and pull her back as this wave of arcane energy comes flying out, grabbing you all, and then sucking you down into this pit. And let me see if this works. Not another pit. I'm not down there. I'm still up on the top. How do you how do you move individual characters? I do not know. Oh. I'm sure there's a really complicated way to do it. They do it? They No? <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying here, guys. Yeah, no, I I get it. And there's a way. It says like grab their avatar and oh maybe I gotta like actually grab your pen then. Watch out. Oh yeah, now I'm moving. Watch well, out. well, you're going to the, you're not going to the right spot. Oh, Tari moved. Tari, you moved. Uh, am I in a like? Don't say it. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Don't say. It. <laughs> Secret. Why can't I move? Okay, I can only maybe only move one person at a time. I don't know. I'm not worrying but about it too much anymore. I see everyone, so. Okay, so yeah, you see everyone, but they can't see you yet. Yeah. Okay, so what happens is, ever the people in the room get sucked down into there, and Theodore, clickety clack, and Sleepy Lucky hear this screech, and silence. Oh. And Theodore, it is your turn. Well, that's strange. Yeah, there's not much difference, is there? Uh, <laughs> I, who else is out of the room with me? Oh, I guess Lucky took off in another direction. Yeah, I'm in La La Land. Hey, yeah, literally. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think he would do an investigation check just to try and find out what happened to them. Uh, though I don't know that he would go into the room. 17. So he Seven, 17. In. You, you peek in and you see this, this trap door flapping open, broken, rug torn to shatters and the entire room is swirling with arcane energy yeah that looks bad i'm gonna go check on lucky five ten fifteen i don't know where lucky is actually <laughs> lucky 20 lucky 25 30 okay oh that is an adorable little avatar <laughs> He's a sleepy bat with a teddy bear <laughs> and a uh, nightcap. Uh, I'm going to do a medicine check on the Adore bat. It's just the first one. 19. I'll 19, yeah, great. Yeah, you definitely notice oh, that it seems to be a sleep spell. You get that pretty easily. Um, If you have to spell magic. I do. And so I will cast that uh, okay. just there at level three. Who you can shall. That's that's the verbal component. <laughs> and he's awake. Oh, Theo's waking me up. Yeah. Wake up, Theodore. The rest of the party has been sucked into some mysterious arcane vortex. No, I'm not Theo. I'm lucky. <laughs> You're the <laughs> I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> Multiple personalities. <laughs> I'm awake. All right. You're awake. Anything else, Theodore? Uh, uh, no, I think that has well gotten my turn in. Okay. So I, I'm going to land on top of it. It is. Head. Not your turn yet. 
Uh, we'll say that... Lucky, what you're about to see, you don't see. And Theodore as well. Okay, I don't see this. And as you will, as the ones who got zapped, and I'll hide the oh, avatars, uh, the people that aren't there. That's you know, awful. Um, who else isn't there? Ooh. No, you're there. Yeah, that's. You all show up. Yikes! In a large room, and in front of you is this large woodland-like creature. The skeletal thing made out of rock and bone and tree. Fear and pain. And fear and pain. And it is huge. Towering in this complex. And he looks at all of you. And you just hear this. <laughs> as it begins to stomp towards you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> And lucky for it, it does not move very fast. That is good to know. All right. Next up is Lucky Lala. So I know I was asleep, mm -hmm. but do I sense anything like like a sixth sense that they like my friends need me <laughs> yeah you definitely well and theodori told you you definitely get the sense that um where they went is probably not a good place yeah yeah <laughs> so arcane vort since i'm not in battle can i just move to where they're at because i'm just like nope you can see if you have enough steps to get into that room <laughs> i'm gonna get blinded again but i'm a bat i'm still a bat oh that's right I'm gonna go. Five, I haven't actually taken damage. 10, 15, 20, 25. Mm, can I move in front of clickety clack? Yeah. Save them, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what's okay. your what's your movement? 30. Okay, so you're at it. Alright, so you see the swirling vortex of arcane Woo! energy. And you gotta roll a D20, my friend. <laughs> oh. Nine. Uh, nothing happens. Nothing Yay. happens. All right. Am I stuck in yet? Uh, nope. That's your turn. <laughs> Back to here. Uh, Rexenor, what are you doing? Well, when in <laughs> doubt, and when something is large, I feel like there's really only one solution. <laughs> Shrink it. <laughs> No. Oh, good. His name <laughs> is Fireball. Okay. Oh. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to do that at third level. Uh, he needs to make a... They need to make a DC 18 dexterity saving throw. Dex save, huh? It's one of they, them people. <laughs> just, just trying to be inclusive. It got a they dirty them. one. <laughs> so it's so gonna, gonna a... take 29 fire damage all right solid fireball holy moly okay uh and then i am going to uh take a few steps one two three four five six i'll say here uh just so the whole party's not in one spot. <laughs> Probably for the That's best. Just, just feels like the right play. Feels, feels uh, good. And that will be Rex's turn. All right. Ezrin, you are in this room as well, except for clickety-clack. What are you doing? Yes, yeah, so I will cast flame arrows. I, I do not know why it did attack already. But it lasts for one hour, and it will add 1d6 fire damage to my ammunition. Okay. I have 12 pieces. And so I'm going to try to... That was an action. So second action will be to use my crossbow. Okay. Uh, I only got the 13. Uh, 13 hits. Or no, 13 Hi. misses. Sorry, 13 misses. Aww. Next. I do not have another attack because I cast the thing. 
All and right. I use one piece of ammunition. So then Dr. Calamario, hmm. This thing is very huge. <laughs> You never seen a Wendigo like this. <laughs> it's actually a lesson. Ah, uh -huh. well, I, I did have big Witcher energy coming off. Of it, yeah, so. good. Doctor Caleb. Oh, and I would like to go up on my broom. Is this creature so tall that it can reach? Would be able to reach me on my broom? Yeah, I mean, you can see the, the like the pillars, and this thing's like just as tall as the pillars. Okay, then. Never mind. I do not need to take falling damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this thing's this thing's really huge. Uh, Doctor Calamario will um, go in front of Rex. <laughs> and can I have my cloak of stars on? I do not know. It doesn't say if that takes like a bonus action. Or I mean, I presume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Sure. I guess. Just like you're doing yeah, a lot. Like, it lasts for one minute, I believe. What does it do? It gives a disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. I, I'll, I'll say you do that in the same motion as you mount your uh, broom. Oh, I am not on my broom. I just. Oh, that's right. Okay, then yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Um, and then Mr. Clickety Clack, can he go down the hole? Or no? No, he is bounded. Oh, right. He has to do a check. Yeah, he does. He needs With all of his strength, which is a minus three. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a spell check. Can he, like, force strike it first at all, or does he not? He can't get anything loose. No, he's 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 entangled. This is not going to go well. Is that a game? <laughs> oh, oh, nat 20. Hey. Yeah. Well done, Matt, that's clack. that's it, pretty much what you had to get. Yeah, that's, yeah, like that, and maybe two other numbers could have yeah. actually gotten you there. Yeah, that's true. Oh <laughs> man, so Mr. Clicky Clack, he he heard you scream, and he's like a little rabid dog that heard its owner just kind of oh. do a little yelp, and it like starts tearing and going, <laughs> and like you just see him rip these things apart. I just, I just picture his legs start spinning around and turn into a saw blade. Yes. <laughs> Same little toaster. Uh, exactly. Oh, the brave little toaster. Oh, we don't, we don't talk about that. <laughs> All right. Back into the pit. Tari. Oh. You're... Yeah, hit that. <laughs> oh, and you are still raging. Yeah, you are still raging, so good news there. Sweet. Um... Can you tell me what happened? Because I had to go and ah. put the child away. So you fell or, into a giant... Away, asleep. Yeah, you fell into a big old pit, mostly. You got sucked into it um, through magic. And there's a giant Leshen creature in front of you that looks uh, like it really wants to kill you. Also, I just set it on fire a little bit. Yeah. So he's... Definitely not a friend. Yep. All right. Oh, now I see it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, run up to it. Chad, I'm definitely going to have to... Because that's... Like, he, uh, put more baby. HP on this thing. You're very brave, Tari. <laughs> yeah. And it's, the, it's the right move as a barbarian, anyway. Yeah, and, exactly. I'm I mean, going to yeah. recklessly attack it okay. with my battle axe. Okay. I mean, you just... Timber! 27. 27 absolutely hits. So oh. what? Uh, 17? 17 damage. Yeah, solid hit. Dang. I'll hit it again. Okay. Recklessly. Uh huh. What? Another twenty-seven. Another twenty-seven. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. Nineteen. 19. Holy moly! You are chopping this thing into firewood. Okay. Uh, that's what I can do. That's what you can do. Them's your turns, Theodore. Back at the top, right? Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Upstairs. Loading in. Let's see. Theodore is, is going to say to Lucky, uh, are we sure we want to go in there? I think our friends need our help. You're still in bat form, so I, I imagine it's, like, oh. <laughs> it's very, it's tiny high-pitched voice. Yeah. <laughs> and the, Theodore thinks for a moment and, and starts to back away, and then a little Mogus voice in his head is like, no, fucking do it. Fucking do it. 
Uh, and he. All right. And what you see is as Theodore walks in, he's he, lucky from the outside. You see him get like, it's almost like a running back just smashed him right in the ribs. And he goes flying around and gets thrown around this thing like he's going around a toilet and then disappears in an Andy, instant. Andy, I feel like I need to give you inspiration for using a football analogy. I know, right? <laughs> the linebacker is the one that throws the ball, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't no. <ask> <laughs> Not if all things go well. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If the linebacker is throwing the ball, things have gone very poorly yes. for everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was Theodore's turn. He got sucked down into the pit. It is now the Leshen's turn. And he's going to okay. square up Atari. Yes. And he's going to take one of his big giant maws, big old handsies, and he's going to whack you with one of them. And, ooh. 23, I presume, hits. Yes. All right. And that's going to be 23 slashing damage. So what? Uh, 11? 11. Normally you get, yeah, you have all that stuff. And then he's going to look at you with his other big old clawy fingers. And, oh, yeah, I guess another, like, 20-something. And 29, actually. And he's going to whack you. Only for, that would be five, five for you. For you. Oh, there's an echo. echo. So how many? Sorry. Five. Five that time. And then 11 the other time. Okay, that uh, that's his turn. Luck. Oh wait, what? I just said sweet. Oh, I thought you said wait. No, sorry, oh, sweet. sweet, sweet. Lucky Lala is your turn. I'm gonna fly into the vortex. Okay. <laughs> so I'm you're. Gonna, am huh? I gonna show up on the other side like human form again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You definitely um fly into it, and I, I'm gonna say like you get hit enough. You don't lose any HP, but you definitely turn back into uh, Lucky Lala, and you show up, and you all are right here. And I'll say Lapless came came too. Okay. Okay. Well, is that my turn? That's not. No, my... no. That's um. We'll say that's half your movement. Out of bat form. Okay. I'm going to cast a spell on it. Okay. First of all, I even though I didn't know that with Theodore, but sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. I just go, oh, at yeah. first. <laughs> what is this thing? And then I'm going to cast Acid Arrow. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little. An Acid Arrow. Where is the thing for that? Here it's we fine, go. Fine, chat. It's fine. It's Boom. fine. Boom. Doesn't matter if he was at 46, now he's at 146. It's fine. Okay. 21 uh, hit. At 21 hits. Absolutely. Okay, it's gonna do 13 damage. But I also think it does something else later. Yep. I, I, I don't know. Yes, On it. its turn, it will take more damage. It talks about it in the spell description. Yeah. Show spell description. 2d4 next turn. Okay. It'll take a 2d4 damage on its turn. Of what? Its turn. Of acid? acid? Yeah, of acid, yeah. On does its it, next turn. Does it ever make a save against it? Nope. Nope. But you got, it's a it, it, just, it just, it hits once, and then it does damage on its turn again. And then that's mm -hmm. it. And then, then it just is done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anything else lucky? Um, Can I use a bonus action still, or since I already... I think you kind of done with that. No bonus action? No. What, what were you thinking? Just a, a cure onto Tari, the heal. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been in the room long enough to assess this. She started. You just has, saw this big giant okay, monster. It's just, just instinct at this point. Yeah, exactly. Rexnor, you're taking a half cover maybe behind this pillar. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And uh, yeah, what the hell? I'll throw a fourth level fireball at this prick too. Okay. 
Uh, far enough back, but doesn't actually hit Tari. Okay. Set it forth. You know, and... it doesn't matter. It would just be a paper cut. <laughs> I mean, still, though. That's a lot of paper at 33 damage. Dex save, huh? Yep. This thing is pretty big. Yeah, that's why I'm going with oh, the Dex. That is another uh, dirty one. <laughs> He's oh going to take God. 33 fire damage. Wow. Okay. Dang. Holy moly. Holy uh, moly. Okay. Uh, Ezrin, you're up. Or Rex, or anything else? I'm done. Uh, Tari doesn't look seriously injured. I'm going to save the spell slots for now. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm just going to cower behind this pillar here. Hey, okay. Ezrin. Okay, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to shoot with my arrow, with my flame arrow. Okay. I got the 23. 23 hits. So that is nine piercing plus... Four fire. Okay. Plus piety. <laughs> two lightning. Another <laughs> piety plus. Iron. Oh my god. Plus what? <laughs> and then? Um, there was one more I was going to do. Arcane jolt. Hey, when I hit, I hit. <laughs> Nine yeah, four. I mean, you hit eight. all the time. You hit all the 24. time. <laughs> but I can only use like. Arcane Joel told me once per turn. I cannot use this again this turn. Okay. Sure. Okay. So that was my first hit. Okay. <laughs> and then my next one. Let's see if this one hits. I missed the first time I shot. 11 uh, piercing. 29. Yeah, that, that, that hits. And with the flame arrow was an extra three fire. I don't think I can use piety again on this one. Okay. I am down three arrows. <laughs> Out of 12. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Calamario. Let's see. Going to run up next to Tari. I do not think with only two creatures we can get uh, dis or advantage on this, right? No. Okay, so he'll just run up next to Tari then and he will start to attack. Okay. 25. 25 hits. So 12 fourths. All right. Anything else? Uh, Mr. Clickety Clack. Um, uh huh. He's yeah. going What's to he stay around here. Really? He's, he, he's not going to attack. Maybe he like goes over and like snuggles next to you, like he misses you, and like. He's, oh, he's, I like that. If my mouse would work. Here can you move him over? Be next to me. Yeah. He dies real easy, and he only does little bit of damage. Yeah, He's I... better for saving for my my touch spells if I need to go in and heal Tari. He's very protective of you. He... He's very mm -hmm. cute. He's my friend. Yeah, that is my turn. All right, Tari, you got some firewood to make. Right. Uh, I think. Let's see here. I will uh, attack again with my battle axe. Okay. Um, recklessly, of course. Yeah. Twenty-eight hits. Eighteen, solid. Sweet, and I will do it again. Twenty-seven. Nineteen. That hits, or that does some damage as well. Right. Uh, that's pretty well. That's pretty I good. Have a bonus action. Can I take another? Well, uh, a greater. Uh, healing? Hang, hang on. You're about to get some healing and another attack. So. Okay. Never mind. Yep. I'm good. You're good. All right. So you just take your axe and you're just like, whack, whack, right into the, this thing's ankle, and it is looking very threadbare at this point, much like the rug. Oh, man, it really tied the room together. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> Bummer. What are you going to do without the sacrifice? Sacri sacrificial rug. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, I was going to say, who pissed board. on it? You know what? Who pissed on the rug? No, woo pissed on the rug. <laughs> I don't know the reference. 
<laughs> Big Lebowski. I don't get it. Uh, Big Lebowski. Yeah, Big Lebowski. Oh. It's like the best movie ever. I know. I saw it at Red Rocks. It was fun. Anyway, Theodore. Uh, Theodore is going to use a, a bonus action to cast Healing Word on Tari at second level. Uh, so, Tari, you will heal for eight. And you get to use your reaction to make another attack. Woohoo! Sweet. I think this is it, my friends. I think this is it. You know, adding 100 points. Smashed it. Oh, 27 absolutely hits. <laughs> And 12 damage. Uh, this thing's teetering on the brink of death. But it so is weak. not dead. But uh, Theodore still has an action. Uh, yeah, I am going to cast... Hmm. What level am I going to cast that at? Uh, I'll just do it at first level. Okay. Cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. Let's do a wisdom uh, save. Which is not on here somehow. Uh, yes. I will type the description. Well, not type it. <laughs> it's like, um, see you in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, next week. Uh, it does have to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC. Oh, what is it? It's a nat 20. 16, 17. Nat, nat okay, 20. Okay, well, it's going to save. Uh, it will take <laughs> half damage, uh, which is. Academic. Uh, five. Yeah. So, how do your dissident whispers do, do this thing in? Oh, it's done for. I, I I see it. You know, just sort of grab at its horns and then rip them off and then shove them into its own eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then it falls over. Boom. Dead. And the, wow. Theodore quietly says. That one was for you, Mogus. Oh. Oh, oh dang. Uh-oh. <laughs> Apostle just writes, the fiercest foe they ever fought. I don't think that's true. No. No. No, not even. Air Force, if you're still there, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I totally forgot. Thank you so much. You're awesome. We faced way worse than that. Yeah. Two fireballs. Yeah, like yesterday. That, that pretty much did it in. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Big creatures ain't got much decks. It's yeah. true. A lot of tarry whacking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tarry whacking. Tar tarry whacking is also Perfect. a really good, you know, uh, kill Euf method. Euphemism. Also euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing in this room? So um, are we? Ooh, I see. Is there? Is that actually a door up ahead or a trap door? There's a door in front of you and a door behind. When in, when in doubt, investigate. Oh, yeah. Did it come in from that door behind? Uh, I mean, not really. You were magically plopped here. Oh, okay. Damn. Wow, 28, 29. Now you guys roll. I think, I think, I think, I think the and Ezra have got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I need to even no. investigate. Just tell me what you guys find. <laughs> I was really looking forward to that lesson, too. You got one attack. Clickety clack and Calamario would like to do a perception check just to see if there's anything that might like get that. Okay. So we got Rex North of 28, Ezra with a 29, Calamario with a nat 20. That's for perception, though. For perception, right. Uh, and Clickety clack got a 15 for perception. So what y'all do is you investigate the heck out of this thing and. You find a little chest, and inside this chest, well, it's actually a big chest, um, you find uh, 150 gold each, and uh, you find a this, this orb. And when you pick it up or look at it, it is a brilliant blue shimmer. And inside of it, it also looks like it's swirling in this crystalline blue with like these silver sparkles within it just circling around. Um, yeah. Can we do an arcana check? Yeah, absolutely. It looks magical. Pretty magical. I don't have oh, great arcana. 
I do, and it's a good thing. Yeah, Rex with a 22. Uh, Lucky with a 16. Ezrin, are you looking or no? Uh, yeah, my mouse. <laughs> I don't have a... 10. Dex with or a piano like Rex, so... <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, what Rexnor really discovers is that this is some kind of of a I'm losing the word, um, not a resurrection spell, but like a like a very, um, very magical, very specific type of healing, um, mending kind of a spell. Hmm. That might be specific to something we need to do. With a 22, it definitely does not look to be something to just use in some random battle. Okay. It has a specific purpose. It looks to have a very important purpose. Ooh, okay. We should definitely take it with us. Take it. If, if we've got a bit of time, I could cast Identify on it. <gasps> that might be very useful. Did we have a a time frame we needed to get back to the uh, to like Thor and everyone? I mean, they've been waiting around for like I don't know. They, can, they years. can wait another eleven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Go ahead and see. All right. So, yeah, I sit down and start you know doing my magic thing with it. Yeah, you definitely have the sense that this is a very powerful druidic spell, and that it is mostly used for like a plant type of um healing property plant healing properties plant healing properties on the right word but potion plant healing okay do i have any insight on what he says since i am a druid uh, or you talk nonsense. I mean, other than, I mean, they ad- they identify. You absolutely know um what, like you you know the general magic, but you know this particular item wouldn't be something you'd be like, oh yeah, that's the um, you know the Glorfindel. Oh, that's that's the Miracle Grow Orb. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this episode sponsored by Miracle Grow. <laughs> <laughs> Causing okay. cancer for seventy five years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next week's episode sponsored by Roundup, <laughs> <laughs> which has been banned in the European Union because it causes cancer. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, um, anything else you guys doing in this room? Looking for a way out of it. Yeah. Um, There's two doors. Can I check if the south door is locked? Yeah. You can go over there and. So I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, you just go over there and give it a good tug and. Slide a hand or what? Or no, it just you pull on it opens right up. It, it opens. It it opens. It's not even locked. <laughs> yeah. No. And and what you see is that uh, you didn't quite see the stairwell before. You kind of got it when you were swinging around the room a little bit. But you see that this goes into a fairly rough um, stairwell leading straight up. So that might take us back upstairs. Maybe or mm. who knows? I mean, you can I do a perception check. <laughs> I mean, perhaps we should check the other door too. Yeah, let's let's also yeah. check the other door. That is a good idea. Ooh. A seven, yeah. Door. What door? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Somebody what's your... go to the other door. Yeah, you're over this one. Does someone else want to go check the other one? Yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's my turn next. So, yeah, uh, I'll one. go and or Ezrin. slowly slowly make my way over there. Yeah, you and uh, e- you and Ezrin both. Sorry, I rolled before I heard your, it was your turn. My bad. Well, there's no turns right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, go ahead. Just, uh, just you, uh, uh, yes, excellent job, Ezrin. The dog's barking. Barking. You, you know exactly when this door was made. You carved it yourself. Yeah, so Ezrin <laughs> goes over there and just pries this thing open. And to her astonishment, she knows that it is exactly the same stairwell that you all are looking at at the other side. Oh! <gasps> Oh no! So can I see them through the door? No, oh, but like... no, absolutely not. But the stairwell is the same. Did you even go in the stairwell, right? Oh, it's not one of those weird things where you look in and you can see like the back of somebody's. No, head. you're both looking oh, into like the Winchester house. Yeah, you're both looking into something. No one's looking out of anything except for the room that you're all in. 
but we know it's the same stairwell. You do with an at 20. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So it, they, they take you to the same place, apparently. Ostensibly. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. supposedly. Yep. Only one way to know for sure. Okay. We all gonna. Uh, I'm gonna uh, climb the stairs. All right. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up this side too. Yeah, and you guys the, both. Theodore is gonna climb the other stairs. Yeah, you step in and you both like appear in the stairwell and start making your way up. I did not knew that. <laughs> Saved me from having to walk across the room. Sorry uh, to follow. A long way. All right, you all. I'll just for expedience sake, y'all make your way back to. Uh, the room. Let's see. So, um, for this next bout, uh, I'll just say that we kind of fast forward just a quick second in that you notice that your, uh, these little beads that keep falling only happen every other time, every other movement. So I'm essentially doubling your movement. So whatever your movement is, you can double it, and we will continue on that way through the maze. Okay. And Lucky is up first. Okay. Or wait, uh, yeah, Theodori finished it, so yeah. Yeah. Five, so yeah, we'll start you at the door. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Basically, that's as far as I can go. Okay. Well, actually, I have 35, so two more. 70, yep. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing <laughs> happens. Good news. Next Woo. up is Rexanor. And 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I shall roll a d 20 and right down the middle. Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing happens with the 15. Yeah. 10, or 15. 10. Yeah, there's a five plus five modifier on it, guys. Um, all right. And Ezrin, we'll just have y'all go walk together if that works for you, unless you guys want to move, unless you want to move them. Down a different hallway. Um, well, they all have different speeds. We can keep, they can hang on your shoulder or whatever. Okay, that will work then. Um, one, well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, wait, where did people go? We're over. Keep, we keep going to the right. 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let me stack them. Woohoo, there you are. You're uh, in front of me. Let's see. We'll just do this. If that works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20. For all, each of us? Yep. Okay, so Ezra in first? Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, roll a d6 for Ezrin. I think I had a five before. A five. No, no one's had five. Am I asleep? No. No, six was... no one's had that. I'm looking it up right now. Oh, do dog, dog, dog. It's Severus! It's Severus, no! And... Dog, seriously. And you see, you get this um, ball that drops, and you immediately start to, like, feel this wound in your shoulder. And you take four, um, a f or, oh, I'm sorry, I that is not right. That is not even close. I was going to give you four damage, and it's supposed to be... Four damage, four damage. Twelve, <laughs> twelve necrotic damage. Oh, you know what? That is even better because I have something. I am resistant to it. Okay, so six. So, well, I guess almost as good. But whatever, it's six. not as bad. <laughs> yep. Uh, let me do that. My thing. Minus six. 
Okay. So resistance reduces the damage in half. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm -hmm. I am Nyxborn, so I am very resistant to necrotic because I'm half dead. What does immune one? mean if you're immune to it? Uh, you immune take no damage. Okay. Uh, and vulnerable means you take double damage. Mm -hmm. Yeet. Okay. All right. Calamario, D20. Well, yes. Calamario next. He gets... Oh, my God. Oh, a nat 20. That's <laughs> really bad. Go ahead and roll a D6. You have to roll it twice. <laughs> a four, and he is asleep. He's a sleepy you boy. Can't get more asleep than asleep, so that's good. That's not too bad. Twenty sleep. <laughs> right, and then clicky clack. He needs to roll too. Yeah, comatose, I guess. But... Yeah. <laughs> roll low clickety clack. Okay. <laughs> His legs are in the air, sleeping. Uh, he uh, <laughs> roll a d six. His armor class is super low. Oh, it's based on armor class. That's why I asked. Armor class isn't that low, is it? It's a twelve. Oh, it is a twelve. So like half armor class or something three and yet again he is entangled oh my god he's just oh, oh. <laughs> he's still not strong either <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad all right sorry you get double the do you want to go this like with everyone uh yeah okay and what's your I movement that, that would put her at 90 i guess yes 90, 90. You want to go down the same hallway? Yes. Let me do this for you. If I, so that'd be yes, five. please, because I don't really know where you went. <laughs> it's it's tricky to find. All right, I'll put you in front of Calamario again. Sweet. So be, so and then you kind of oh, Ezra, I'm gonna move you around a little bit. So Tari, you notice that you're in a dead end. Does it dead end? Yeah. Uh, looks like it, yeah. So you let them know that you guys are walking towards the dead end. Uh, oh. We're walking towards the dead end. We need to turn around and go somewhere else. Okie dokie. Perhaps another hallway. You gotta put your mic down. Okay. Perhaps we should go back uh, the other hallway. We all turned left. Perhaps we should go to the right up. at the beginning. I think, I think it's up. Too. There's another oh, trail. Possibly. And you guys are yelling down the hall towards Theodore, and it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Well, he is going to. And he's been down that way. Would he have seen the way up that Lucky referred to? Yeah, I think he's talking about like right here. Somewhere uh, there, there was another fork. Okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yes, because I think that's a wall between me and Tari. Yep. Mm -hmm. Theodore is going to say, I see a path forward this way. Okay. Which sounds weird because his voice is muffled through the walls. <laughs> yeah. It's echoing. It's like a tunnel. Uh, yeah. Although, to be fair, Thomas has a wandering accent for Theodore, too. Oh, he does. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Tari, I got to have you roll a d20. Oh, yeah. I suppose yeah. I also and, must do that. Yep. I suppose. I reckon. Oh, that's a 20. Yeah, that got a 6. And another 6. Double 6s. Nothing happens. All right. Lucky you all. And l lucky, Lala. Lucky to the power of 7. What was your What was your last character's name? Power or something? Light power. Light, Light power. power. So now you're lucky to the seventh power. <laughs> so, um, did did uh, Theo finish his turn? Yep. Did he have to roll? Oh, I will. Uh, yes, I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did finish. I did finish. Go ahead. A D twenty and everything. He did it. Did. They both yeah, did it. I rolled six. Oh, they both got sixes. Oh, okay. Let's go back. I'm gonna go one. Okay, he's on my spot. Can I go in front of him? Yep. Yes. And I don't see anything, but there's still more path. We do a little dosey do. Dosey does. Rexonori. 
Rexenor is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. I think, chat, like there's got to be a better way to do this so that it's still engaging because it's getting a little monotonous. That. Uh, I'll do a perception check. Okay. A 19. <laughs> uh, you're... Let's see here. Um, you get the sense that this is a very large maze. Um, at your current pace. Um, but you definitely don't get a sense if you're going right or wrong direction. Don't know. Well... That would be interesting, no doubt. No doubt. Just keep treading along. All right, well, go ahead and roll it. D6. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. All right, so Rexenor. Uh, wait, this is Rexenor, right? Yep. Okay, Rexenor is hanging out with you guys, and then blip, he disappears. Oh, fun. And Rexenor, you get teleported to another part of the map, and you don't hear your friends. Oh no! All right, uh, you can't hear Rex nor you can't hear you guys. Is that in the map? Shit! What? <laughs> Where is he? You don't know. He just boop, bam, uh, out of where you are. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it'll help. I think I'm just in a corner there. Uh, so even with dark vision, there's only so far I can see. Uh, I guess that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Ezrin, you're up next. Uh, you hear Theodore and Lucky go like, what the hell? Like, what's going on up there? And I... I'm going Rex to just up. disappeared. He just vanished. Wait, okay, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 85, 100. Okay. Can I do investigation to try to figure out? Well, maybe I want to Ar Arcana check. I'll do Arcana. Sure. Hey, why did it not roll? I clicked you. Come on. Okay, it's going to click it like five times because it's working. Uh, 22, you get this. Are you out looking for like what happened to Rex? <laughs> do all of them. We'll do them eight we'll times. A little bit of a delay. <laughs> uh, we'll go the first one. So are you looking at what happened to Rex? Yes, I'm trying to figure out where he went and what we might do to get him back. You, do, you only see the residue of one of these beads, and you get the sense that it might have been a teleportation bead. Oh, no, a teleportation bead. Um, and there's more around? Uh, it looks like it came through the ceiling. It's like oh. the Denver bus system. It doesn't take you where you want to go. It takes you where <laughs> you they think you should go. Yeah, exactly. You just end up somewhere. You know? yeah. The fuck am I? <laughs> Anything oh, else, Ezrin, that you're doing there? Are there any beads I could collect in case I need to teleport to him to figure out where he's at in case he can't find his way back? Nope. Okay, then... Then no, nothing else. I would like a uh, Calamario would like to do perception. Well, Calamario's blind. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so he can try. I think that gives him disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and Clickety Clack did not join us then, right? Oh, no, I'll put him back. Okay, yeah, you put him back. <laughs> Could I have grabbed Calamario on my broom or no? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, since he's just blind. Okay. Before I left Clickety Clack, <laughs> can I do a dagger attack <laughs> to try to give him advantage at least? Yeah, sure. <sighs> okay. I don't know why it's being so slow. I click it and it just not clicking. Roll 20 is just like, eh, I'm kind of tired today. Yeah, screw you guys. Uh, a 12. Oof. Um, With three piercing. Yeah, I mean, I'll say that with a 12, you do manage to cut him free. Okay. And so, awesome. he, yeah, and so, so he can go. No longer grappled. Oh, sorry. 
But that was the end of his turn, right? So he's still far away. Uh, I'll say that you like cut him open and brought him with you. Yeah, so he's yeah, with I you. I did not cut him open. Well, whatever. You cut him <laughs> free. Cut him free. Be still. I'm going to set you free. Yeah. You got the, you got the crab. From like everything. Yeah. You the sit there. <laughs> I'm just going to put this little thing around your leg real quick. Don't All right. Worry about it. Uh, Calamario, does he want to do anything? Um, He was... Oh, yes. He's blinded. He needs to try... Or asleep. He's what asleep. Check? He's asleep. What check was it? Uh, It is a... Was it a con save? I do believe. I think that's what we did. Yeah. I'll look up the sleep spell just for. Uh, it doesn't. It's for like for duration. Duration spell. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen works. Woo! No longer asleep. No longer asleep. Thank you for reminding me of their conditions. I yes. forgot to, despite the little. <laughs> All right, Tari. Uh, I am in a room by myself. Yeah. Do you want to go back to where everyone else is? <laughs> uh, do I need to start singing like I did on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, uh, gonna... Anywho. Yeah, I'm going to put you away in the front. Because you're a fast little kitty. Uh, I need you to do... Well, did... Ezrin, did you do a roll to or a d d20? No, I so, sure did not. <laughs> can you do three of those? One for you and the rest? Okay, here's me. And the rest. And, and then Calamario. And then Pickety Clack. And maybe eventually three will show up. Okay. <laughs> okay. 14, one. Okay, that misses. That going. misses. Is it? Oh. Did one not go through? Oh, 14. 14, one, 14. Uh, clickety clack. Go ahead and roll a d6. Oh, clickety clack. <laughs> Perhaps I, I should have brought another magical item with me. <laughs> I do not know why this is so freaking slow right now. Five. Oh, again. All right. This is going to do. Let's see how much necrotic damage. Can you take necrotic damage? I believe he can. It's just poison that he... Okay. Uh, yeah, it's taking me forever to roll, too. There it is. 18. 18 necrotic damage. Oh, no! He's dead! Ezrin <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. just says, no! <laughs> and I oh, no, our up. metal meat shield. <laughs> I put them in my bag of holding <laughs> for okay. later fixing. On top of the pebbles. <laughs> you yes, pick them up. You just see this bead. You just see this bead fall and hit him right on the back and just begin to devour him. He's like, <laughs> and just like that. Exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my Good God. performance, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, it was maybe. Tara, you want to roll a d20? Sure. Uh, I didn't really do anything, but yeah. No, nope, you're all just moving, but. Sweet. Well, did you did you want to do anything? Any checks or anything? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I'm just gonna roll with the thing. Roll with the punches. Rolling roll the dice, points. man. It is really slow. Yeah. Rolling the dice. 18. 18. All right. Uh, 18 absolutely hits. You got to roll a d6. d6. Uh, <sighs> do, 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 do. Roll 26. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. A six. You're blinded again. Sweet. <laughs> it's just a little tiny darker. Hey, there we go. I went ahead and uh, clicked what I intended to do uh, a minute ago so that it would pop up in a timely fashion. Oh, good. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's sleepy sleep. Let's sleepy sleep. Okay. So we're at the top. Oh, no. Uh, Theodora, you're up. 
Didore uh, is going to do a perception check and got a 22. A 22. Very nice. So you definitely get the sense that where you're going is not necessarily dead end. Uh, you definitely get the sense that there might even be like another chamber up ahead. Um, but it's tough to tell. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, Yeah, we're going to fast travel in just a second. Just hold on. Just hold on. Uh, I can move up one more. Um, no, you know it goes the other way, actually, with oh, that, with that perception check. You know that's a dead end. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so, uh, hang on. I got to do the math here again. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, <laughs> Uh, I don't think I crossed a wall there. 50, 55, 60. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, and then um, I don't want to burn all Theodore's spell slots. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, Why not? A, you got to have a chat with uh, Thomas about that. Yeah. Uh, cause my, my instinct would be to cast sending and see if I can find out where Rexenor is. Okay. So, uh, you can do that. Uh, how far away does that spell have to be? Uh, it is infinite basically. Um, if it's on a different plane, there's a 5% chance it doesn't arrive. Uh, you can send a short message of 25 words or fewer. Uh, to a creature with which you are familiar, the creature hears a message in its mind, recognizes you as a sender, and can answer in a like manner immediately. Uh, you can send the message across any distance and even to other planes of existence, though that's uh, only a 95% chance of success. Uh, and Theodore is basically going to say, Rexenor, where are you? And Rexenor is going to say, no fucking idea, actually. <laughs> uh, so... Good use of a spell. You just wanted to have a conversation with yourself. <laughs> you just wanted to... I would also imagine Rexenor expresses that he's still in the maze. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm still in the maze, but um not quite sure where. I did discover before I left it is a vast maze. And I can confirm. Okay. And that'll be Theodore's turn, I guess. Uh, D20 coming up in six minutes. <laughs> do, 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 do. There it is, 16. 16, all right. Yeah, yeah. go ahead and roll, bad a news D yeah. and roll a D6 on that guy. In five, four, three. Two, it's a two. two. Hey, right on schedule. Uh, <laughs> um, let me. As uh, this new bead falls through the f um ceiling, there not through the floor, but through the ceiling. Uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Let me look at something. Should have had these all ready. But I didn't. No. <laughs> or if they're anything like me, they've got it all prepped, and then they take it out and look at it, and then they close the book. Yeah. And ten seconds later, you need the information. Okay, with this one, I need you to do a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that is definitely Theodore's strong suit. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's going to come in through it with advantage, but I don't, I don't think I actually have that. This is dexterity. Mm. Sucks. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he fails. Uh, he takes some amount of damage. He got an eight on the save, and um, you'll take full damage as soon as that rolls. <laughs> um it's rolling i should just get out my dice rolling 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 like you guys made fun of my lack of 
random number generation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it so slow? I mean, if if I had one job, I would be upset. With there you go. Jeez. Too. Okay, yeah. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Fi- a little bit. Thirty-four fire damage as this fireball Ooh. just smashes directly on top of your head. Okay. It's actually, actually uh, more powerful than either fireballs I cast tonight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you guys are generally. About it. Yeah, you guys are generally going in the in the correct order or direction so i'm gonna fast travel each of you a little bit and kind of make sure that you guys see the cave and you manage to make your way and we'll deal with rex in a second so i'm just exposing the map to everybody real quick Doki. there we go and lucky can't forget about you oh lucky you got stretched <laughs> just because we don't need to play this out for the next 14 days That's... <laughs> We're all going to the same place. there you go nice little bonfire session 86 we've been in the maze for two months <laughs> <laughs> three hours later okay rexanor which direction do you want to go, right or left? I would say left. Okay. Um, I'm just going to move you to the next crossing point. Where do you want to go? North or south? Uh, south. Okay. Um, it's fairly perceptive and observant, so I would yep. assume he's heading generally in the right Yep, direction. so he sees the light from this fire, and he makes it there as Yay. well. Yay. Oh, Yay. It's so good to see you all again. We're reunited. Oh. oh, I was so worried about you. I was worried about me too. So after being in this maze for what seems like days at this point, like you guys have been around, um, it, maybe not in a, a day, but you, you all have been in this maze for hours upon hours. You are exhausted. You get the sense that this is the one spot in the maze where you can take a short rest and that is it just a short rest so if anyone wants to heal up or gain some magic pip on uh, magic um slots back you can do that yeah, let's i think i get nothing with short rest okay and then, well i guess i could heal up i will do that with my hit dice after this we can all <laughs> practice like reminds because we're so used to going like this one it's right, actually pretty funny so. tristan can I like mint? Yeah. Does your clickety clack? Maybe not, since he's in an infusion. Does it? How long does it take to create them? It's a long rest, I think, to do. So an yeah, you'd have to recreate them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what is my hit dice? I do not remember. I do not use that often. One d eight. Well, good news is I don't have to heal up, and I'm only down a fourth level spell slot. So you get to add your con to that if it helps. Oh you... yeah, I forgot about that. Are you gonna heal up Theodore? Uh, yes, I will do that. I can help um, mend. Um. Oh yeah, you got mend. It says repairs a uh... three. Wow. A magic item or construct. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I but wasn't sure if you're I could not you're not it healing it. Back. It's dead. Oh, it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he died. I think I need to recreate him tomorrow. Let me yeah. Make sure all my stuff that I. Yeah, usually once something once a construct breaks, you gotta like recreate it. So. Well, other wow. than kill Mario. You're rolling for shit there, Theodore. Nickel <laughs> and diming it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh wow. God! <laughs> wow. So people on chat can't or can't see uh, our chat, but it's or the hit dice got a yeah nat it's, one. It's a, it's a lot of ones. Yeah, two, three nat ones. Oh, seven. It's barely an eight. Oh, uh, seven, seven, that's seven. almost completely healed up. I've okay. used six of his hit dice, so um, and a bunch of his spell slots. So well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll, later. I'll, I will leave some for Thomas. Yeah, maybe later. Lucky can. Heal up a bit, um, everybody. All right. 
So with uh, that, so just to let y'all know, uh, the only day I am available next week is Wednesday. But if everyone else is available, regular times, by all means, carry on. We're going to be in Grand yes, Junction. We I mean, Wednesday. we might be able to do Wednesday. Well, we're coming back Wednesday. I don't know what. Oh yeah, don't don't don't. We, we can we can skip next week if that's easier. Yeah, yeah. It'll certainly be easier for me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to deny it. the rest of you D and D fix. But. Amy, you can't do Thursday, right? Um, but he's next Thursday. It's the twentieth. I thought that. I mean, Rex wouldn't be able to do Thursday, but okay, right? That's the day you can't do. Yeah, would we all want to? Uh, or Tuesday or Friday? <laughs> um, would y'all want to skip or? Because usually, if it's if if, if, if Thursday, yeah, somebody it, can play Rex. Right. If two or more play, am I? usual rules if two or more can't make it then we'll skip if just one then we'll try to do it unless the group yeah. wants to wait so it's up to you all I so far i'm good i'm thursday. good for the next two weeks do you, and you, you all want to play or do you all want to just skip um and someone someone could play you, rex you, i got a bunch of spell slots and you can regenerate yeah. some of them you can have thomas do it i don't want to play two characters <laughs> well, can... uh, I was gonna say Tom probably yeah. hopefully he'll be back. Thomas or me. If that works. My brain would just get fried. Okay. So you we still want to play next Thursday? Is you cool with that, Nick? Yeah. Okay. Go for it. I'll 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 watch a recording and try they'll, to fill in the gap with my notes. They'll literally still be in the maze. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> I never doubted. We need to cross through this thing. All I ask is whoever plays me, leave me a couple of spell slots. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's if you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair point. Um, I'm a little less uh, squishy, fragile than I once was. Oh, Apostle says he'll volunteer to play you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why, why does it say... Uh, dead and serving Mogus <laughs> on my character sheet. Whoops. He asks if one spell slot's enough to keep. Hey, as long as it's second <laughs> level, uh, I can regenerate uh, a couple of first level spells. So Hey, we'll leave you your cantrips. Hey, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've, nice. I've put those to extensive use over the years. So. <laughs> and I think I've got a crossbow. So yeah, we'll you're, be fine. You're set. You're set. <laughs> Wait, are we ending now? Is it, is, is this like our yeah rest yeah end? we're gonna we're gonna end for Probably. the night here. Um, as you all find these sleeping bags that look like they may be made out of skin, but not hide. So it's a little concerning. Uh, Animal human skin? Uh, you know, it's tough to tell right you know, now. You, you know, guys are so you tired. Know, lucky. I found it's best not to ask questions you don't want the answers to. Oh, great. I'm just going to sleep on the ground over here for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to make a little bed of flowers and lay on it. You can absolutely. A little grass. <laughs> a little patch of grass. You absolutely can do Theodore that. Theodore crawls right in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Theodore is like <laughs> chewing on a little bit in his sleep. <laughs> well, I hope Thomas feels better. Yeah, I hope, I hope so, so too. too. Yeah, he came home from work and he just went straight to bed. He oh, was not feeling game. well. Yeah, that's yeah. that's not a good day. Is... And light or any sounds, just, you're, just, you're hypersensitive at that yeah. point. At least he was able to drive home. Uh, I was really surprised, actually, but yeah. Maybe he shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Sometimes Uber is <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Definitely cheaper than, you know, car accident. Yeah. Well, luckily it's only from like, you know, maybe 20 minutes away, so it's not that too not too long, but oh, well, I'm sorry. All right. Well, all right. Thank you. Good job, everybody. Yeah. See you soon. Good job. See you later. Next week. Yep. Bye. Have a good Bye. week. Bye. All right, chat. Thanks for hanging out. Man, you guys were going nuts. Usually I can keep track of um of chat by apostle thanks for hanging out minion thanks for hanging out and our newcomer air force demon 420 heck yeah man i hope 
Uh, I know he's gone, or they are gone, but hopefully we can chat more. I gotta, I gotta re-read chat. Let's see what you guys are up to. And thanks for the follow. Anyway, everybody, I had a great freaking time. Uh, this is a good session. Uh, yeah, I had to definitely speed it up a bit. I'll probably, yeah, speed it up more. They, you know, we'll see. Maybe we'll just have them do, like, a couple checks. Anyway, we'll plan that out. We'll plan that out. Um, I know. They put you through the um, the rhyming ringer, man. You, I didn't think there was another one of you out there. You're like, ooh, ooh. I was like, is this is this an, a a friend of apostles or what? Like, did did do you know them? Because that was intense. They are slow. What's slow? Oh, the the maze is very slow. Yes, we got to speed this up. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get this going because we got we got some things to do. We got some things to do. We'll we'll uh maybe each room they discover. I was thinking they're going to split up. It makes it easier if they split up. But when they all go the same direction, they can't like, you know, if like one went this way, it could be like, okay, so these guys disappeared. So you guys, yeah, we'll just fast travel you over there. You're good to go. But they're all kind of clustered together. So anyway. um, Yeah, when am I going to stream? I might stream tomorrow, actually. I don't really have much D&D prepping to do. But... Uh, I'll probably stream a little bit tomorrow. I need to get my computer into the shop. Again, we'll play next Thursday. I'm not going to stream Monday or Tuesday next week for sure. But, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Maybe a little bit on Thursday. Maybe a little bit. No, not this Thursday. So tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. Probably around 10 o'clock Eastern. All right. Oh, there's nine new messages. Why isn't this coming through? All right. I was, like, waiting for Apostle. I thought you were, like, typing something. All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh.